taking the uh, inside hydroponic system down to uh, give you a little look at what uh, kind of mess you got to look forward to cleaning up. And here's my burn pile over here. Uh, you see, I got uh, most of the most of the plants pulled out. Had uh, you can see the the root structure there on that cup. Uh, got two plants that I pulled out already, and there's some tomatoes up there that had blemishes or whatever. I just left those since we we still have more than we can eat. As I mentioned, uh, had root rot issues. Uh, you can look in here. Hopefully you'll get a, I'll go ahead and pull this plant out. You see how the uh, discoloration on this root system So that's another thing to keep in mind if you need to leave some room at the end of your system where your plumbing is so you can see how far these roots can reach out uh, to give yourself ample. You don't want those things growing down in small PVC pipe. Now in contrast if you look at the system over here which I had a similar problem but I've been running hydrogen peroxide you can see the the roots are basically white or clear. And this is the last of uh, the fruit, the tomatoes and uh, peppers that were on the on the plants. Just went ahead and pulled those off. Uh, uh, the ones that look pretty decent, go ahead and harvest those. It just gives you an idea of the quantity of of produce though that can come off of a system like this it's uh, it's way more than a family can uh, deal with even if you're canning it and making hot sauces uh, and in my case having a couple tomatoes every day at lunchtime okay, clean up uh, going pretty well here uh, surprisingly enough after removing the plants, uh, the tubes are amazingly clean. You see that pretty much pulled all the roots. So I'm going to go ahead and break the tubes down separately and clean them up with some bleach. Uh, try to sanitize them a little bit. Alright, got things uh, beginning of started to uh, clean up here. Uh, as you can see, <clears throat> this is the system that's got the 12 volt DC uh, sump pump in it. So I started pumping, uh, I think I let it run for about a minute. Uh, just long enough for it to uh, fill the tubes up. Then uh, once it starts overflowing, I go ahead and shut it down. So once I get these tubes cleaned up, uh, got the plastic back back up now. I'll wait till it cools off a little bit. Then I'll uh, put something back here. I may uh, try some lettuce something that won't be a vine. And that's it for today. Backyard Farming, Florida.